In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to scrape articles from websites using Python, and we're starting right now. So in this video, we're going to be using the Newspaper 3K library, which will allow us to easily scrape articles from website. By scraping articles, I mean it will scrape text from the article, and you could actually perform analysis on that scraped data. And so let's get started. So first thing that you need to do is fire up your Jupyter Notebook or your Google Colab. And so links to this notebook will be provided in the video description of this video. So you're going to install the Newspaper 3K library first. All right, and it's installed. And now we're going to be importing the article function from the newspaper library. And then we're going to make use of the article function to perform the scraping. And so it will take as input argument the URL. So here I'm going to be using the article that I have written on the Medium platform that was published in Towards Data Science. And so I'm defining it into the URL variable as a text here. And then it's going to be used as the input argument to the article function. And then I'm assigning that to the article variable. And and then I'm going to download the contents of the article by using article.download and let's implement that. And let's print the contents of the article.html. So you can see that the content is on this one line here. Okay. And now let's do the parsing of the article. So remember earlier that we defined the article variable to include the contents that we're going to scrape from the website. And so here we're going to use the article object dot parse. Okay, and now we're going to retrieve the name of the authors of this particular article. And as expected, the article is myself. And we're going to retrieve the published date of the article. Okay, and so this is the published date and it says 2021 March 27 and it's probably because I've updated the article just a few days ago. So it's retrieving the last modified date of the article and then let's print the article.text. And so this is the entire content of the article. Okay, so all of the article's text is right here in article.text. So feel free to use this for your text analysis for your NLP projects. And here we're going to display the top image. So typically on the medium article, let me show you. Let me go to this article. So normally I would create this top image right here. And so the top image will be retrieved from the previously mentioned code right here. Right here, article.top image. Let's print it out. And so that's the link to the image. Okay, so it's the same image in here. Okay, and so let's perform some natural language processing. And we're going to import an LTK and we're going to download the punct tokenizer. All right. And let's implement the extraction of the keywords of this article. And then let's print out the summary of the article. So this is the summary of the article. So this is a challenging task. So it may or may not do a good job in summarizing the article's content. And so this is an area where you could definitely improve upon. And there you have it, a very simple way to scrape data or articles from websites. And so you could feel free to change the URL to another web page of your choice. And please let me know in the comments down below how you're planning to use this library in your own data science project. And if you're finding value in this video, please smash the like button, share it to your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.